2016, Wardell Stephen Curry II. I am a little nervous, Bob. Um, this is a tremendous honor. Um, you know, first and foremost, I have to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing me with the talents to play this game, with the family uh, to support me day in, day out. Um, I'm his humble servant right now, and um, I. It is. I can't say it enough how important you know my faith is to to how how I play the game and who I am. So um, I'm just I'm just blessed and I'm 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 thankful for for where I am. Um, I love playing basketball. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's something I've been doing since I was what mom dad too with Fisher Price goals. I mean, um, my grandma is here. She we were talking about it yesterday. Um, she used to be my commentator. She used to be Bob Fitzgerald for me. Um, counting down the scores. I hit a game winning shot or whatever and I'd stumble over and give her a high five and stuff like that. So um from that beginning to to be standing here in front of you today, it's an incredible journey. Um a lot has gone into it. A lot of great people that I've met along the way that have every bit of you know, to do with that trophy um, as I do. And I'm going to try to get through, uh, obviously, the people that are here and um, people that are watching that are, have been extremely significant in, in, in my journey. Um, but if, obviously, I don't get to you and you, you had a part in it, um, you know, please understand that. Um, this this hasn't sunk in at all. Um, I'm, I'm on cloud nine for sure. Obviously, we're in the middle of a playoff run, and, and that's the most important thing. Uh, but today is a celebration for sure, and we want to be able to take the time to really appreciate what, what this means, and um, and that's why we're here. So I'll try to explain how I feel the best I can, but uh, just bear with me. Um, I got to start with my wife. Um, uh, we met when we were 14, 15 years old in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the last seven, eight years have been amazing. Uh, we've both grown into adults. <laughs> we've uh, you know, moved cross country together, started a new life. And you're my backbone. You allowed me to, to do what I do, uh, to focus on basketball and my career um, and still you know, I have a family. That's the sacrifices you make are unbelievable, and uh, I can't thank you enough for who you are as a person, how you challenge me, how you inspire me every single day. We have a beautiful daughter, one on the way. Um, she's over there smiling at me. <laughs> um, just, I love you so much, and I can't thank you enough for just being there for me. You know, day in day out, whether I have a good game, a bad game. We lose, we win. Um, when I go home, things are good, and and that that's comforting to know. And um, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for everything you've done for me, and you deserve a round of applause for sure. <laughs> Mom, Dad, uh, they did a great job of explaining it so far, but I think it can't be understated how much. My brother and I and my sister appreciate just who you are. Um, you're the example for us. You handled a 16-year NBA career and had us three and um, you raised us the right way. Mom, you are our, our spiritual guidance, our, our disciplinarian at times because you were around uh, when Pops was away. Obviously, if, if we were in real trouble, he'd come home with, and uh, and take care of business. But... <laughs> um, just the way that you, you know, raised us, um, not taking any slack. Obviously, we knew that sports was important to us and our family, but there are priorities in life. Obviously, your faith is, is, is first and foremost. Um, you 
how we did in school growing up was important. If we didn't handle that business, then there were no no privileges. We, I remember sitting out my first middle school game because I didn't handle my stuff at home. That's a pretty embarrassing moment if you go to you know to your first middle school game and you have to tell your your, your team, hey fellas, I can't play tonight. I didn't do the dishes at home. And they're like, what? Like, what are you t-? So just that that lesson taught me there's more to, there's more to life than basketball. There's uh, obviously, the most important thing is, is your family and taking care of each other, um, loving each other no matter what. And, I, and regardless if I were to play basketball or not, I know you guys love me. Without a shadow of a doubt, you would encourage me in any part of life that I, or any path that I take, I would have taken. So just thank you so much. And Pops, you're the example of what a true professional is on and off the court. You, I, I remember a lot of your career. Um, and to be able to follow in your footsteps, it uh, it means a lot to me. This is special. Um, I'm really proud of you know what you were able to do in your career, and um, I don't take that for granted at all. A lot of people um, thought I had it easy with the pops playing, you know, in the NBA, but. It was, uh, it was a, I'll get to that part down the road, but it was an interesting journey. And um, just who you are, you you made it okay for me to have a family at my age when I, when I started it and to know that um, you take care of your business, you know, you, you, you'll be all right. So, so thank you so much. Uh, my brother, Seth, is here. Um, I'm proud of you, man. We, uh, we had some battles growing up. It was a... You, know, you challenged me every single day when we played one-on-one in the backyard. Um, I always joke, our games would go on all night, and it would usually end for two reasons, or one of two reasons. One, my mom would come in and say we were disturbing the neighbors because it was too late and the bounce the bounce ball, they would maybe call over and tell them just to shut up over there. Uh, or two, you get mad because I was beating you, and you say, you say I was cheating because I wouldn't give you a foul call. <laughs> And you take the ball and run in and, until I said, all right, you can have that foul check up at the top of the key. <laughs> so those, those battles I'll never forget. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun just seeing you, how you've grown, um, and following your career. Um, you know, it's not easy having an older brother uh, that's playing in the NBA and obviously a dad that's done it before both of us. And the way that you're handling it is, is impressive. And you know, the sky's the limit for you. Keep doing what you're doing, and um, you keep making the family proud. Uh, Sadell, just 